Hello kids, and welcome to a fraction divided by a fraction with the Montessori materials. This is really cool. This is one of those presentations that just blows your mind and makes you think, wow, really glad I have the Montessori concrete materials to help me. The key is in the Skittles here that you take a unit and you can divide it into, you can break it apart and you can find out what two thirds of this gets, but the answer is always what one whole gets, three thirds. So the key to understanding uh, division with the Montessori materials and in general is to follow these rules. When you divide, you share something equally. Division is all about sharing things equally. And the answer with the Montessori materials is always going to be what one whole Skittle gets. Here's a whole Skittle, but we've broken this down into halves, this one here, and then this one is thirds, and then this one is divided in fourths. So, and of course here we have whole units over here with the just the big green Skittles here. So we're going today to divide fractions using fraction pieces with the skills here. And we're going to do a fractions divided by fractions. This is going to be a lot of fun. So without further ado, here we go. All right, so our first problem is going to be, let's start simple. Let's do 1 half divided by 2 thirds. All right, so we're going to take one half and divided by two thirds. All right, so I've got my half piece here, one half, and I've got to have my skittle here, and I've got two of my thirds here. You guys can see it. Two of my thirds right here. Well, I got a problem already. How do I share this half equally? How do I do that? How do I do that? Well, I got to cut it in half here and do that. I'll take a fourth and a fourth. Is that equal to? Don't trust me. Trust the materials. Yep, that's it. So each piece gets one fourth. Or if you like looking at it that way, each piece gets one fourth. But if you use the Montessori materials or in general, the answer is always what one unit gets. So I bring out the rest of my Skittle. I take another fourth piece out. And the answer, when I put it all together, is going to be three-fourths. So one-half divided by two-thirds is three-fourths. Now I'm going to do it the abstract way. Always multiply by the reciprocal. That means you flip the second one over, which means it is going to be one-half times three over two. And that does, in fact, get me three-fourths. So there you have the answer both with the Montessori materials and in the abstract. Show you that it works either way. So that was the first example. One half divided by two thirds gives us three fourths. The answer is always what one unit gets. All right, next one, let's do three fourths or three fifths divided by three fourths. All right, so three fifths divided by three-fourths. So there's our problem. Get my fifths out. I've got three of them. Okay, I've got my three-fifths. I've got my fourths here. Remember, I've got four-fourths together. Those make a whole. So lay out my three that I need for right now, though. Okay, put that one off to the side. Three fifths goes into three fourths. Well, one, two, three. Oh, that's good. But the problem, the answer is not what three fourths of a skittle gets me. It's what one whole gets me. So I put that back out. I grab another fifth. And there you have it. My answer is one, two, three, four fifths. All right. So how am I doing that? Well, let me show you the abstract. I'm going to multiply 3 fifths by the reciprocal of the second number, which is 3 fourths, and that becomes 4 thirds. And that gets me 12 over 15. 12 over 15. However, I can reduce that. I can divide both of them by the same number. I can divide both of them by 3. 
just to reduce the fraction because 3 over 3 is the same as 1. And that gives me 4 fifths. So there you have it. 12 fifteenths is equivalent to 4 fifths. And 4 fifths is the same thing I got by using the Montessori materials. So 3 fifths divided by 3 fourths is, in fact, 4 fifths. All right. We're going to do a few more examples. All right. So the next one we will do will be, let's do 3 eighths divided by one third. Three eighths divided by one third. So let me get my eighths out here. Oh, eight ninths, my bad. One, two, three. Three eighths divided by, here's my thirds. Okay, but I'm going to only have one out for now. Three eighths divided by one third. Well, let's divide these guys out equally here. But remember the rule: the answer is not what <laughs> this one third of a skittle gets, but what a whole skittle gets. What a whole one gets. So I have to get out some more eighths. One. Oh, that's a ninth. Back in there. Ninth. One. So there is my answer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eights. Let's put them all together. Put them all together. Best. This is the kids are so much better at this than adults. <laughs> There's my answer. One and one eighth. So I got one and one eighth, which is what my whole skill gets here. Let's see if I can do that in the abstract as well. 3 eighths divided by 1 third is the same as multiplying by 3 over 1. That gives me 9 eighths. 9 divided by 8 gives me 1 and 1 eighth because you take the 8 out and you have 1 eighth remaining. So we get 1 and 1 eighth. It checks out. One and one eighth is the answer, both using the Montessori materials and in the abstract. Funny thing is the Montessori materials I didn't have to reduce, it just was right there. That's the beauty of this work. So let's do another one. Got two more for you, so stay with me. Stay with me. Let's do five sixths. One, two, three, four, five. Five sixths. Five six divided by one half. Well, here's my skittle divided in halves. So put that one there. Put that off to the side. Well, looks like they all go here. They have my five six there, but the answer is not what half the skittle gets. It's what the whole skittle gets. So, got to get out some more of my six. One. Two, three, four, five. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Six. Oh man, I got ahead of myself. I'm sorry, I didn't even write this one down. My bad. So sorry. Just got so excited. Five, six divided by one half. And. I ended up with 10 sixths. However, I can reduce this. 
Well, let's see what I can do here by putting this all together. Sorry about that. I put them all together. Got to form a hole. Okay. Well, it looks like my answer is one and four sixths. However, I'm looking at that one and four six. Can I do anything more to it? Well, I can because a six plus a six is a third. Let me write that down for you. Two six is the same as one third. Okay. Does it check out with the materials? Yes, it does. Oh, yep, these two thirds can replace these four sixths. And my answer becomes one and two thirds. All right, well, let's do that the abstract way. Five sixths divided by one half is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal, which is two over one, gives me 10 sixths. And that is equal to that. And we did all the work before, reducing that 10 sixths to 1 and 2 thirds. So that is our answer. The beauty of these materials here. All right, we've got one more problem for you. You stayed with us this long, just stay with me a little bit longer. Let's do one more. This is six sevenths divided by two thirds. Six sevenths divided by two thirds. All right, let's have some fun here. Let's get some sevenths out. Six of these guys. One, two, three, four, five, six sevenths. Nice. Divided by two-thirds, remember, three-thirds is the whole, but two-thirds is what we're starting with here. Let's divide these guys out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that looks nice. However, the answer is not what this gives me, but what the whole unit gets me. So I have to break out some more sevenths here. One, two, three. Then I could bring it all together. Everybody's happy. They all have equal together. Now I can start building a hole out of my sevenths. Let's see what I get. It looks like I can build a hole. And I have two sevenths left over. So my answer is one and two sevenths. That is what I get when I use the Montessori materials. Let's do it in the abstract. Six sevenths divided by two thirds is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal, which is three over two. And I get 18 over 14. That's what I get. First, okay, now what can I do? Well, I can reduce that. I can reduce both of those numbers, divide by 2. 18 divided by 2 is 9. 14 divided by 2 is 7. So I get 9 sevenths. And 9 sevenths You divide that out, you get one and then two sevenths left over. And there you have it. Same answer, one and two sevenths for both using the Montessori materials 
and doing it in the abstract. So the Montessori materials are great for this. This is one of the most like uh, magical um, of the Montessori presentations, the division of fractions, because it's always like, how do you get larger numbers when you divide something by a fraction? A fraction by a fraction, you get something bigger. And the answer is in the rules. When dividing, you share something equally. And the answer is what one unit, or in this case, one skittle, gets. So this is one skittle. But if we've got two thirds, we have to add that other third to get the whole. So that is really interesting. And then, of course, we've got the half one here and the fourth one here. I think uh, we should be making like way more of these. Let's just really get into, uh, let's break them into fifths, sixths, sevenths. They're, gonna, they're not going to stand up after a while because they get so thin. But uh, there you have it. So the magic is in how you use the Skittles and follow the rules to get to what one unit gets. So there you have it. This has been a presentation on multiplying, or dividing, sorry, dividing a fraction by a fraction using the Montessori materials. And of course, also showing you how the, uh, the abstract works as well. So have a great day.